I decided to be Angela Lansbury and Murder, She Wrote. I love that. I saw what you guys did last year, yeah. and I was just like, I can't take myself seriously to take a portrait of me looking cute if I'm taking the photo. I was watching Murder, She Wrote in London a lot. I was filming there, and I was in and out of lockdowns, but filming through lockdowns as well. Great guest stars, great like whodunits, and the it's really the my favorite moment is when they solve it mm -hmm. and like play it out for you. It's just delicious, and it feels Super good awesome. to watch. Wasn't it sort of what, what you've been watching over the pandemic yes. kind of feel? And, and the, the one you guys did last year was stunning. Uh, uh, and then, because I remember seeing it and I always thought that was cool. I was like, I'm never gonna be in there. And I remember seeing that, that thing last year. I was like, this is so cool. Why don't they ever ask him to do this kind of thing? And there it is. And there it is. So during the pandemic, it was, it was um, you know, there were some very dark, scary moments. And I always go back to what's comfortable and, and, and musically especially, and, and uh, I love Elvis Presley. So I watched the 1968 special again, and this was a really important, sort of changed Elvis's career completely. There's a song called If I Can Dream. And when he started singing it, and with everything that was going on, I'm like, oh my God, I just start crying and crying. He's in the white suit, and if I could dream. And it just sort of fit into everything that was happening, you know. So I put on the leather and I don't think I'm ever gonna take it off. I'm wearing the uh, undies right now. So I picked the boys, the Emmy nominated the boys. I picked Queen Maeve because she stands for something bigger than what, you know, we see. She's, she represents the erasure or the misrepresentation of the LGBTQ community. And for me, I related a lot to her because what this underrepresented community is what people of color have experienced in the years, where it's, it's like, okay, within the space of Hollywood, we'll give you this tiny p platform, but it has to be in a certain way, and there are limits to how you can be yourself. So the boys was able to highlight that and give voice to that in an amazing way. And that. she's badass. I chose The Bachelorette. <laughs> I loved Caitlin Bristow. She was my favorite one. I've been a avid, diehard fan for as long as I can remember. I love it. I liked Caitlin. She was so cool. She was very to the point. She was authentic. She was not fake. I liked that she had an edge. You know, she cussed. She had sex. I just found her to be like a girl's girl. Fantasy Suites are my favorite episodes. Pitt's Creek has become sort of my go-to, comforting, favorite, they feel like my friends kind of TV program. I actually met Dan, Dan Levy came to see my play this week and I had dinner with him. And <gasps> I was like, I know, I know guys, I know. And he's a gem. He's like the wisest, kindest, funniest person. And I was like, oh, I've got a shoot tomorrow. I'm dressing up as you. He looked terrified. He was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but I sent him the picture from set and I think he likes it. So. Yeah, I definitely wanted that like sweatshirt because I was like, I feel like that's the iconic one. Uh, but there are so many good ones. Basically everything he wears, everything him and Catherine O'Hara wear. It's incredible. I chose the Great British Bake Off. I was able to ask my incredible crew to help me with it. And we got all these classic pastries from local pastry chefs. So we all basically had a feast after work. I think I saw the show first season. I, I love, I feel so at home in the English countryside having grown up there. And I love any show about baking and cooking. And I just love being surrounded by the British accent, especially if I'm not in England. So there's something just very nostalgic about it. I, I can't stop watching. I binge it. 